Welcome back to the Pit Stop Ranch. This video, we're going out to the Long Beach Tea Club's annual uh, swap meet. Here up front, we got a pile of Model A's and Model T's. Um, some really cool ones. I really dig this uh, early Speedster right there. Um, I really enjoyed this swap meet. It's a very high concentration of uh, early Ford um, original parts and hot rod parts. It's kind of like a scaled down version of the LA Roadsters swap meet, about a half or a third of the size, but uh, same very high quality um, display of uh, wares and uh, opportunities, um, really mellow crowd, and uh, rather um, different from uh, most uh, swap meets and car shows. Um, no one was uh, sharing their uh, music, so we got a little cleaner audio on this one. You get to listen to all the random snippets of other people's conversations as we walk around and film. I, 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 uh, you're welcome. Hopefully you, nothing real embarrassing shows up. But um, uh, it's a good time. Now, I uh, film, walked and filmed the whole thing, but... Um, that might get a little redundant after a while, but uh, if there's anything that you saw or didn't, or maybe you were there and there's something else you wanted to cover, let us know in the comments below. And uh, please uh, enjoy the show. Sir? Yeah. <laughs> I put one on each vent window, but I couldn't see out of the mirror. So I <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Thank you, sir. Do you restore these old Chevys? Uh, I saw a lot of auto parts for these cars. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. No, we're 
The other guy, the, the, the guy behind you, they little man. Oh, no, it's like eight cars there. They're in the back. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, all you have to do is lighten the load by 10 or 15 Yeah. I'll talk to the guy too. He still has it. Right, so right. I, I knew somebody was hot rodding and over revving it. Right, right. So when I saw the, when, when I seen the rod splatter, I put a, I put a high compression head on it. Uh huh. Side or high compression. Yeah, yeah. To drive home. Take sell the other one for a dollar too. You sell the other one for a dollar. You sell the other one for a dollar. Truck until you want to walk around and just come back and grab it. Come with a bail for the uh, 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 for Duck lid? What's that? What's the duck lid? Model A. Model A, okay.
Well, you've got some good contacts. That steering column, the far one. That steering column, the far one? Yeah, the far one. I could be wrong. <laughs> M21's got one line. Yeah. And M20's got two lines. Sometimes no lines. If it's been replaced, the input, yeah. they'll have a no liner. The M22 didn't have any lines. Okay, I thought the M22 had the two lines. It was zero, two, and, and yeah. zero, one, and two, and it was for 20, 21, 22. That's what I always heard. I wish it was an M22. Yeah, okay. 
you're, you're way yeah. It's a good price. Yeah. More than I got on me, but it's a good price. I, I bought it out of Pomona. I pulled it out of this uh, 66 Chevelle Ford factory for 27 I'm like, whoa. Yeah. What? Yeah, so I wonder, wonder why he pulled it apart. He put a tremic in it. He goes, the transmission was perfect. He goes, I put a tremic in my car. So. Well, it's totally. If I, if I, yeah. Twenty twenty five hundred dollars without oh, yeah, without any. Yeah, yeah. So, and I do plan on putting a Tremec in actually this car, but it's already got an automatic. Was it a Pontiac? Yeah, it's Pontiac a sixty-eight. No, Pontiac Le Mans. Le Mans, okay. All right. Pontiac Tri Power. Manifold man. I ran into Randy, of course, and Steve. They don't. Hello, Manifold Man. How are you doing? Doing good. You, man? Yeah, it's slow. Yeah. Just got back from our trip down to Long Beach to check out the Long Beach Model T Club's annual um, swap meet. Um, very impressed by it. Um, it's kind of like, you know, Pomona's this huge swap meet, and there's a lot of good stuff there, but it's so jam-packed with uninteresting things, almost unrelated. It's kind of difficult to find those jewels. You really got to spend a lot of time and effort. And then the Long Beach Performance Swap Meet, um, it's all the same amount of good stuff as that, that is at Pomona, just there's less of the stuff you're less interested in. And then this is a further concentration of that. This is, I feel like this swap meet is kind of it, it was it was amazing, and I was expecting it to be tea centric, and by far there was far more tea stuff than I have ever seen anywhere else. I think that's wonderful. Um, it very much reminds me of the LA Roasters swap meet, in the sense that it covers the full spectrum of the hobby, at least generally speaking, U.S. domestic market. Um, generally speaking. 50 year old vehicles and older which is our stick that's what we do and that's why you guys tune in for us so uh, it wouldn't be a swap meet if we didn't buy stuff stuff that you know some stuff that we could use some stuff that we could need and some stuff that you know it's like what the hell the price was right so go over that real quick show you what we got and uh, going from there so, um, commonly at, at lo our local swap meets, there's always people selling tools. And uh, now we're getting serious about um, setting up the new shop. I'm now looking more and more for the sort of specialty machine tools that uh, I'm going to want. And a few things here that... Uh, struck my fancy is I have a number of dial indicators but I don't have a Mutatoyo dial indicator and Mutatoyo is um, a Japanese brand that's made in Japan and USA it is roughly two-thirds of the cost of a Starrett and probably 75-80% is good so in the same way Craftsman Tools used to be the right answer for um, hobbyists, the uh, Mutatoyo is a, uh, the right answer for aspiring machinists. It's definitely professional grade quality for, like I said, about two thirds the price of a uh, Starrett, which is, is kind of like the snap-on of machinists tools. Now we got this uh, high quality machinists um, square. This is a lot more precise, or should be a lot more precise than your standard speed square or combination square. So that's a good thing to have. We have another one lying around that someone left uh, someday, probably out of return, if we remember who it belonged to. If it belongs to you, let me know. Um, always on the hunt for body hammers I don't have. This one here has crowns on it, bigger crowns on it than, um, than the, other ham the other hammers I have. The other hammers I have don't have little or no crown. 
So that's the reason why I, I thought this was a good, good buy. I don't know if it's any good or not. I don't know, you know. Seems like a decent one. Probably overpaid for it. But. <coughs> and we have this center section for a uh, cross brace. And, well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say like a 39, 40, 37 Ford. I don't know. Late 30s Ford, uh, late, late 30s Ford cross member. Someone in the description can tell me exactly which one that would be most helpful. Um, which, you know, begs the question, why the heck did we get it? Well, and the answer is quite simple. We're, um, we have managed to pick up, and I'll do, be doing a video on this shortly, we managed to pick up most of a 32 Ford Roadster. But we are missing the K member, and we're looking for K members because we would like to do it, you know, the actual, um, how they came from the factory. But uh, actual good condition K members went from actually being quite easily available in the, our region to drying up and disappearing almost overnight. So if you're the one out there hoarding uh, 32K members, hey man, give us a call. With this, this is being the most complex piece of one of those X members, um, uh, we can now turn around and build the actual pieces that then tie into the frame. And um, we can then set this up however we want. You know, we can do a steeper, you know, whatever we want to do. However we want to do it, it's up, uh, it's up to us, we can do it. So this being the mo most complicated piece to pick up, and the price was right. It was you know forty bucks. So what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say to that? Anyways, enough rambling. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. Um, and have a swap meet tastic nose picking, part picking, adventure like day. <laughs>